puppy can be a full time job, but there is a way to get help improving your dog's behavior. New this morning, News Channel 5's Kristen Scovera shows us a doggy boot camp helping your furry friends put their best paw forward. Stay. Good boy. Sully is not even a year old, but this multi poo sits and stays with the best of them. Sully wasn't always such a good boy, but that was before he went away to camp. We train family dogs, rehab dogs that might have had some baggage from being in a shelter. Um, we also train service and therapy dogs and certify them. Karen Duet is the co-founder of Canine Companions in Mount Juliet. I started training dogs when I was 12. She says a few weeks here can make a world of difference for you and your dog. People give their dogs too much freedom too soon and they start misbehaving and they think the dog somehow should know what it's doing wrong and they don't. They love structure because dogs are pack oriented creatures. So they're literally born wanting to know who's the alpha, who's second, third, fourth, all the way down. The training starts in this room. Owners can sit behind tinted glass to watch their progress. Once they're good, we actually bring cats into the training room and they have to train around the cats. Yeah. Duet says they only work with about 10 dogs at a time. That's only half of the equation. The other half, training their owners like Patrick Custer. Make our whole family dynamic warm and welcoming. Custer sat down with trainer Nikki and says breaking Sully from his bad habits was important before growing their family. My husband and I are, are um, in the beginning stages of the adoption process. He says canine companions even stopped by their home to ease the transition. Now Sully is sitting pretty and Patrick is a proud pet parent. He's definitely, I think, been a much happier dog in the house and acts like he feels like he knows his place a lot more and is a lot more Sully, confident. Come, Kristen Scovira, News Channel 5.